The first use of CMAS paper is tomorrow, so here are some last minute tips to make sure you don't fail. Not every equation is given to you in the formula book, so make sure you check and ask your teacher which equations might come up that aren't in the formula book so you remember them. Do not forget a protractor, do not forget a compass, and there are questions that you can genuinely only do in the GCSE exam with tracing paper. That's the flimsy paper that is see-through, like rotations on a graph. You can only do that with tracing paper, so don't panic. Put your hand up, ask the tracing paper, they'll know what they're getting and use that in the question if it comes up. And also do not forget a calculator, please. When you're using your compass, please use the sharpest pencil you have just to make it better. If you cannot get a multiple choice question, if you don't understand how to answer it, if you cannot get the answer, please, please, please circle one of the options before you move on because a lot of the time I forget to come back to the multiple choice question that I can't answer and then lose a mark that I could have gotten for free because there's a 25% chance that you could circle the right thing. Obviously, try your best to come back to it if you can. This one's kind of obvious, but please make sure to skip any hard questions that you don't understand and leave them for the end because there's no point wasting so much time on those questions when you can be getting marks on other questions that you actually know how to answer. Check your paper as much as you possibly can. Do not sit there at the end of the exam thinking, oh, I'm done, I finally finished this maths stuff. Check your paper again and again and again as much as you can because you will find mistakes. I promise you, you will find mistakes. I found multiple mistakes when I was sitting my GCSE exams, when I was redoing my paper. That's right, I was redoing it in my head with my calculator. I was redoing every single question to make sure I made no mistakes and I did make loads of mistakes and luckily was able to find them before I lost stupid marks. Do not panic if you come back to a question that maybe you've left and you genuinely, genuinely cannot get the answer. Just focus instead on going to every other question and making sure they're absolutely perfect and try to put something related to the question in that question before you gain zero marks instead of maybe one. For putting something. Those are all my tips for GCSE maths. Good luck for the paper and making loads of last minute tips for every single other GCSE. So make sure you subscribe for all of those. See you in the next one.